Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let us do your reading between August 8th to August 14th. This is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates and what does not resonate. For more personal, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Also, the white previous stars for higher spirit, and we have energized pure intention charge crystals and limited stock. Do reach out to me for more details. And check out Instagram. Follow my Instagram for August 3 predictions in short and more stuff. And if you want to be a part of my Saint Expedite Urgent Wish Fulfillment Workshop, do reach out to me for the same. There is no time restriction in this workshop and you will get all the details in the most easiest manner. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment to this channel for more videos on your sun. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, Sun and Sagittarius to deal with one. Let's see what's coming up for your Sag. of inspiration someone is very very interested in you the world this person could be from a different country different place background culture uh, I feel like they have very different understanding about love and other things and their culture background everything is different so they follow those uh, traditions dedicatedly I feel like you guys are in this confusion. Both of you are in this confusion whether this is the one, you think that whether this is the one for me, they think whether you are the one for them. But there's one thing, there's a strong sexual attraction between the two of you. There's something that keeps pulling you guys to each other. Don't know why, but it's happening. So you guys are still trying to figure out what this connection is all about. Okay? So maybe this is another Sagittarius dealing with or a fire sign that you're dealing with. Any other fire sign. I'm sensing a water sign as well. Now, queen of emotions and the strength. You guys are very strong these days. Your emotions are becoming your strength and not your weakness. At one point of time, your emotions, because you're an emotional person, you are sensitive when it comes to your love life. And I feel like nowadays your sensitivity is and emotions are playing a, a helping role for you. They're helping you because your person really wants someone that gets emotionally connected to them. So your emotions are helping them understand who you are, where you come from, whether you're going to stay loyal or not. So there is a strong pull that they are feeling towards you emotionally and you are also expressing yourself pretty good. So here, what I'm also seeing one more thing is that, that you are... Um, you are having a higher standard than this person like your dreams your wishes your goals are more grounded and this person is less grounded they are attached to you but it's more of a physical connection than an emotional connection from this person's end from your end you deserve or you know you want someone totally fully deeply spiritually connected with you that means a totally emotional connection well balanced connection so I feel you're making your emotions your strength and that is why you're becoming more successful in your career also you are seeing these emotions are helping you able to put more heart into heart and soul into your work which is why you're recognized well which is why you will become more of an achiever okay so now i'm seeing the five of voices now what i'm seeing is this person is trying to defend um their feelings i feel you may be asking them let's get married or let's get committed but this person is like always twisting and turning things around they want to be with you but they don't connect on that emotional level as you are expecting okay so this will also help you understand what this person wants and where they stand in your life so what you want is not something that they can offer but they really like that you're an emotional loyal person sensitive person they really like being around you but they're not the kind of a person that understands emotions much they're more of a logical person they're more of a um, getting things done kind of a person political kind of a person and they have big dreams and ambitions so they're not looking for an emotional connect but they really like that fact that they can trust you because of your emotions so you may see that this person is manipulating things Whereas you just simply want love here. You might be dealing with a Leo. Someone that is a lone wolf, a loner. Ace of emotions. You have a new connection coming up, guys. 
Oh, I feel like you can't wait any longer. Sagittarius is stressing you out, it's making you anxious, worried, confused, and you're like, oh my gosh, how long it's going to take? Like, I really uh, I'm looking for true love. I'm looking for emotions. I'm, I'm looking for a sensitive connection, a spiritual bond. When is this going to happen? It's because you might be, you know, investing your energy, making efforts in the wrong person. This person is already giving you hints that they are not looking for something serious here or they really want to be by your side, but they really cannot open up emotionally because they have other things as their priorities. So it's time for you to distract yourself and look for someone else because first of all, um, it is important to be in a self-love energy. So right now it is really important. Universe is saying, get yourself back in form, be more collected be more balanced emotionally. Once you're in this energy, you will attract the kind of love that you're looking for, okay? Because when we are too emotional and we're not in our senses, it looks like we are desperate and we are begging. So that energy is something that might backfire. Right now your emotions are your strength, but bringing yourself in balance is also very important. So you might be too worried about, oh my gosh, when will my a love life flourish and when will I get pure love, true love. It is not going to happen when you want it or desperately dying for it. You have to just go with the flow and make changes in your own vibrations. So yeah, there is definitely new love coming into your life in a week's time, in a month's time. So there is no need to be worrying about. Okay, then we have the queen of inspiration and the hierophant. Someone is getting more and more attracted towards you. I feel like it's time for you to buck up and make some uh, outwardly changes, exterior changes, superficial changes, like going into a fitness regime, looking more you know, skinnier or not in a negative way, but in a more natural way, looking more vibrant, looking more active, okay? And vigilant, agile, your skin, your hair. I feel like right now universe wants you to, you know, love yourself in every way possible. Make inner changes, make outer changes because there's someone that is coming towards you with that kind of feeling. Like, I feel like your uh, looks are going to attract someone really soon. And luckily this person is looking for marriage. This person is looking for deep commitment. And when they see you, they'll, be, they'll get very, very attracted towards you and they'll be coming towards you. Some of you are thinking about a business venture. It will go a long way, go for it, okay? But I'm seeing, yes, there is a commitment coming through, guys. But first, revive yourself, not being in that emotionally drained energy. Balance yourself, balance your emotions. So you could be attracting a Taurus towards you. Be your own son, that's what I'm hearing for you, Sagittarius. Muse of emotions. I feel like you're attracting an emotional person. This is King of Cups and the Three of Swords. Ooh, you're attracting someone that has recently gotten broken up with someone else and they've been crying and they've been hurting. All right. I feel you need to be in the powerful emotional energy in order to help this person because they, when they approach you, they will be totally broken or they will be helpless. Even though their career is good, they're flourishing, everything is perfect, but there's someone that they really truly trusted and 100% of trust was given. That backfired them and they feel betrayed. I feel they need a shoulder to cry on. I feel that is the kind of person that's coming for you. Very loving and emotional, but hurt, heartbroken. Scorpio Pisces Cancer. This person is completely like you in a way that they might be very successful, but they value love over money. They value uh, emotions. They're, they're, that is their priority. That is everything for them. So I feel they've shut the door on their past, their ex, but they're still hurting. But they think that there's no one that can understand their emotions. So that is why I feel universe is bringing you both together. You're going to heal this person somehow. And that is why you have to be in the strong energy if you are also crying and they are also crying, this is not going to work out. So this person could be a Scorpio Pisces Cancer, hurting a lot. Let me see. 
Sagittarius. Yeah. I feel like when you guys join in with a Ten of Cups energy, this person gonna be healing immediately. You coming into their life, synergizing both the energies, emotional energies, it's going to pump this person up so much that they will realize what were they crying over. They will realize their own worth. They'll come back to their form. Their productivity will increase. And this is going to be reverted back to you in the form of a reward. And this is going to help you also be happy and rise and believe in love more. You guys are going to help each other, especially you will help this person outgrow their insecurities or outgrow their hurt past baggage and that is why this synergy is going to uh, turn into something like a long-term commitment like marriage this person really wants to offer you marriage after this change that you bring in their life you guys have no idea what a big change you guys are going to create in this person's life and you have no idea how this person is going to give it back to you in the form of marriage you help this person they'll offer you marriage that's the energy that i'm getting here so there's a form of synergy you guys when you guys are in a union when you guys join the vibrations the positive vibration the emotional vibration the loving vibrations will increase to such a high extent that this person will realize you're the one and they cannot stay away from you you guys will become you know uh joined forever united forever that's the energy you will bring a lot of peace and harmony in their life you're someone that is going to give them immense space a lot of understanding will be there mutually and they will respect you a lot it's time for you oh my gosh you both are high earners you both are going to make a lot of money if not making today when you guys are together i feel this person is definitely very rich already but if you're not having good time with money right now, you guys coming together is going to help your money increase tenfold. And if you are also doing very well, this person is also doing very well, you guys are going to unite and your money is going to multiply 10 times and you guys will be shocked. 10 and 10 is like 10 on 10 connection. This is everybody's dream and it's being blessed to you. You are being given that blessing by God, by universe, that you can have it all in this connection you will have it all this is like a dream come true nine of emotions what else do you want so everything is being served to you on a platter and nothing expected from you in return so it is because of your emotional strength it is because of your kindness towards yourself towards others towards your family members towards your friends towards your family towards your brothers or sisters or whatever this is coming to you in the form of karmic blessing. So the 10 and the 10 over here is definitely talking about a full-on family, like wedding and marriage and having kids. And it's going to be a grand function, ceremony, you can call it. Don't be confused, okay? Tell me why we got the two results. I feel it's a dream and that is what is coming through real soon. Alright. Hey. Ooh, this is a right card. Nine of emotions. Your deepest wish is coming true, guys. Everything is going to fall in place. You're getting married real soon. I'm saying maximum it would take October. Before October, you will be commenting over here that hey, I'm engaged. Or I'm in a relationship. We are soon getting married. Okay. You guys may get intimate, intimate and cozy before getting involved. So don't do that. That's my message for you. Don't do that. Stick to your self-respect. Unless this person proposes you, don't go beyond a particular boundary when it comes to getting intimate. Thoughts. This person is someone that's going to keep thinking about you, boasting about you. Hey, my lover is like this. They're like that. They're like that. So they're simply obsessed with you. I feel their obsession is going crazy. You guys, you guys may get intimate. Yeah, this is exactly what you were wanting. Okay, the kind of a connection what you were expecting. This is exactly what you wanted. Some of you are 28. 
or their birthday is on 28 and your birthday is on 28 or 16. Seven and one is a good combination. So you guys are a good combination numerology wise as well. I feel like you guys are going to live in a one house, live in the same house, or you guys are going to plan and buy a very huge mansion, live there together. Wow, you both are going to synergize your energies. Sagittarius, please. Ooh, this person is like a treasure and a trophy for you. And so are you for them. Because when you guys are together, oh my gosh, there will be a windfall of abundance. Save money, marriage, kids, everything you want is coming with this person. So don't waste your time on random people. Wait for the right person. Someone is 62 here. So the current person might be giving you red flags. It's time for you to walk away. Or when this person comes into your life, may come with a red flag. Maybe they will not be very interested initially. So you should be like a friend to this person. Because when you guys spend time with each other, you will realize that this person is hurting over a past. Okay, That is why they're not opening up much. So you guys will help each other, heal each other, and heal each other's families. And there will be a strong commitment and strong chemistry between the two of you. And this is someone completely new. Completely new. Sagittarius, please. Okay. Balance. See, I was telling you, you guys are like yin and yang. You guys are divine feminine meeting the divine masculine. You guys are meant to be with each other. There's nothing in this world that can shake this connection or break this connection. That's how beautiful this connection is. So you guys will balance each other. You're more emotional. They are way more emotional. So you're going to bring them in balance. <clears throat> yeah, I was getting the two sword earlier as well. I feel that it is connected with the number eight, which means that someone is trying to go back in the past or trying to relate everything that's happening in you uh, with the past. So this can create a hell of a confusion. So don't go into that zone. Okay, so in order to let go of the past, first of all, it's really important to forgive so that we can move on. There you go. <clears throat> this person is going to be your pride. And so will you be their pride because you guys together, oh my gosh, how you guys will flourish. I can't even say it in words. It's, I'm speechless. I feel the way this person has been treating you, you've been treating them. This is a dream connection. This is a very fairy tale connection. People are going to be like jealous that how they are so much in love with each other. This is like unbelievable. And I'm also sensing when you're in your energy, when you're proud of yourself and you're not begging for someone else to come and make you feel proud, that is also one thing that will make this person attracted towards you in the first place. But if you're in this crying energy, begging energy, oh my gosh, this person will run away from you because they're already in that energy. So clean it up. Yes, so past has to be removed or any kind of burden expectations need to be brushed off so that you can embrace this new person with all your love 100% of your attention because you have what it takes to heal this person. Nutrition. Take care of your diet. Some of your nutritionists are going to do really, really well. I'm also seeing detox yourself. Okay, advice for you. Give it to God. Everything is going to happen in the divine time, in the right time. All right. Bless your heart. It's very important to heal yourself. It's very important to stay emotionally balanced. So that everything happens for you at the right time, in the right place, okay? If you get too emotional and too sensitive, you might delay your own manifestation. So I'm definitely seeing self-love. Very important. All right, now let's see the signs that are coming for you. Color yellow is going to be very, very helpful for you. Or wear more ruby or amber color. Now let's see the signs. We have Taurus, we have Pisces, we have Gemini. These are the three signs, most probably. Scorpio, Pisces, sorry, not Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, now let me see the charms here. Let's 
Okay, let me tell you that. It's a clear energy. Someone is jealous in your family, uh, family or someone outside is jealous that does not want you to have a family. Okay, this person could be a dead soul, a spirit. But maybe daily prayers and sticking to spiritual beliefs and having motivational messages will keep you updated and will keep you uh, positive so that you can attract what you're meant to attract. Okay, or you can have a protection charm or protection bracelet. And then we have, you like to go for arts and crafts, crazy tricks, you know a lot of tricks. Someone's name is Day. Oh, you can see there is some spirit around. That's envious. It's someone that you knew uh, left and this person has been keeping an eye. I'm not seeing any kind of harmful influence on you until and unless you're in this positive energy. So stay positive, stay farsighted, forgive and pray to keep your energy positive. I'm seeing you will be very focused in your goal, whatever your goal is going to be. Someone is working Ernst and Young. Someone's name is Daisy, Didi. Someone's from Delhi, India. Someone's from New York. Someone's name is Armin, Elena. Yamin, Yamini, something like that. Someone's name starts from D. I'm not getting many names though. Um, someone's from Denmark, Italy, England, Australia, anywhere in America, Egypt, Dalhousie, India. Yeah, I'm also sensing the devil energy. So there is something that's blocking this happiness to come your way. So you have to stay positive. All right. So I'm seeing you're being farsighted and you are definitely going to fulfill your expectations real soon. No matter how many uh, blockages come in, doesn't matter. Someone's name is Inya, Yan, someone's from, someone's an eye doctor, someone's from Adelaide. Someone's name is Darlin. Someone's name is. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ed, Eddie, Edward. M, Elma, something like that. Someone is a shaman here. I feel like your family members are really there for you, really pray for you and helping you get to your goals, your dreams. They're helping you in all the way possible. And that is why some people outside are jealous. If there is no spirit involved, I'm just seeing jealousy, maybe by your ex, maybe someone around you. But it's not gonna affect you. You're protected spiritually. Have good sound sleep, that is very important and communicate clearly, precisely and keep communications short. I'm seeing yin and yang energy, energy of balance. You're going to be a yin for this person and they will be yang for you. You will be a giver for the time being, but they will become a giver later on. Debbie could be the name Debbie. Arnold, Danny. Yasmin, Jasmine, Jay, Demi, Carlos, Yugoslavia could be a country I'm sensing. East India. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. You may have goggles or this person has specs, specs or goggles or whatever. Okay, so that is about it. I hope you enjoyed this free Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Come back for more. Oh, yes. I forgot all sign readings. Let's see. From Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you, Sag? Let us see. Aries. Aries is definitely trying to manifest you. They know you're the one that can make them happy. They're trying to pursue you. Win your heart at all costs. They're falling in love. Taurus. 
ending this, moving on, they're still in the past. The Gemini is trying to get more information about you. They're unsure. This person is also confused. Cancer. Cancer is really thinking about a long-term commitment. Maybe this is the one. Leo. Leo is... Um, how do I say? This person is hiding something. I feel they're not emotionally 100% available. So give them more time and space and you will get your answer. Virgo. Virgo wants to take space from everybody and they're trying to recover themselves from something. Libra is not interested. Scorpio sees you as a dream come true. They want to take things forward. They might think of marrying and settling down with you, buying a huge mansion with you. Sagittarius, very interested in talking to you, taking things forward. Capricorn is thinking about marriage and long-term commitment. Family is involved. Aquarius is leaving this because they think there's not enough chemistry. Pisces, having other options. So they want to keep you around while they can look for other options as well. Or they're just stuck on something. I don't know, but I feel like a Pisces case is a little tricky. So thank you so much for sticking around and I'll come back for more messages. Don't forget to drop down your comments and let me know what's happening in your life. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you back again. Bye.